Good morning, everyone. Welcome to our morning inspiration, Saturday, February 3, 2024. May the good Lord be with you today, and may his peace be with you, and may his love continue to surround you and your families. Our reading today comes to us from 1 Corinthians chapter 12, reading verses 12 to 31. It says, For as the body is one, and hath many members, and all the members of that one body, being many, are one body, so also is Christ. Verse 13, For by one Spirit are we all baptized into one body, whether we be Jews or Gentiles, whether we be bond or free, and have been all made to drink into one Spirit. 14 says, For the body is not one member, but many. 15. If the foot shall say, Because I am not the hand, I am not of the body, is it therefore not of the body? And if the ear shall say, Because I am not of the eye, I am not of the body, is it therefore not of the body? 17. If the whole body were an eye, where were the earring? If the whole were earring, where were the smelling? 18. But now hath God sent the members, every one of them, in the body, as he hath pleased him. 19. And if they were all one member, where were the body? 20. But now are they many members, yet one body? 21. And the eye cannot say unto the hand, I have no need of thee, nor again the head of the feet, I have no need of you. 22. Nay, much more those members of the body which seems to be more feeble are necessary. 23. And those members of the body which we think to be less honorable, upon these were bestowed more abundant honor, and our uncomely parts have more abundant comeliness. 24. For our comely parts have no need, but God had tempered the body together, having given more abundant honor to that part which lack. 25. That there should be no schism in the body, but that the member should have the same care one for another. 26. And whether one member suffer, all the members suffer with it. Or one member be honored, all the members rejoice with it. 27. Now ye are the body of Christ, and members in particular. 28. And God had set some in the church, first apostles, secondarily prophets, thirdly teachers, after that miracles, then gifts of healings, helps governments diversities of tongues 29 are all apostles are all prophets are all teachers are all workers of miracles 30 have all the gifts of healing do all speak with tongue do all interpret 31 and last but covet earnestly the best gifts and yet shew i unto you a more excellent way and I say, Amen. We give God thanks this morning for His Holy Word. Indeed, it's a privilege to always study the Word of God and to learn more of His plan for my life. And I know all of us have that wonderful experience, that enrichment that we get when we study the Word of God. It is so refreshing to the soul, spending time together with God in His Word. And this morning is no different. We are encouraged in the word of God that our bodies are important and we should take great care of our bodies. Each members, each part of our body as we are told is important. And so when you look at yourself in the mirror, you see two eyes, you see two ears, you see a nose, you see a mouth, you see your hands and your feet. You see a complete person make up of different parts that make the whole. And as we examine the body, we realize that 
each of those parts play a very important part in the body and so the eyes are there for the body to see or for you to see the nose is there for you to smell the mouth is responsible for taste the ears are responsible for hearing the hands for feeling the feet for walking and that's just a fraction of the different parts that make up the body because you have the cells you have the muscle you have the heart you have the lungs and the list goes on endlessly each of those parts play a critical part in the survival and the proper maneuvering of the human body and so if one of those parts is not functioning properly or cease to exist the body operates differently because what it is missing a crucial part that is integral and important to the survival of that person and yes i know you will say well but there are people that live with one kidney and so forth but regardless of that the body will still function less to its capacity that it should function because what that extra kidney is missing so now that more pressure is put on that one kidney to do twice the work that it would have done if two kidney was was there you see where i'm going do you understand and so the each part have its role and none of the part can decide that it doesn't want to play the role that it has been given so the eye cannot say to the nose, okay, let us switch responsibility because I want to, to smell too. Or the ears cannot say to the mouth, I don't want to hear anymore. I want to taste. Or the hands to the feet, let's switch. No, they are all given that responsibility and that's the responsibility that they have to carry out. So if they decide that, because they, they don't want to hear anymore or they don't want to taste anymore or they don't want to feel anymore what is going to happen to the body the body is going to become paralyzed and so there is going to be a, a interruption in the flow of order as it relates to the body and so that is why none of the pump none of the part that makes the body cannot be undermined it doesn't matter how insignificant it might seem to the human eyes. They are all important and should be taken great care of. Now, the body is used as a representation of Christ or of the church. The Bible says that we are of the body of Christ. Now, we are many and there are many diversity as it relates to the body of Christ. And it speaks specifically to the role of and responsibility that we all have to carry as part of the body and so it states that he has given us different gifts or different responsibilities so he didn't give everyone the same responsibility or the same gift he said that he gave some preachers he gave some apostles he gave some interpreters and each of those responsibilities must be honored and be carried out by each person to the fullest think about if god had made everyone to be preachers then who would the who will be there to teach think if everyone was a teacher then who would be there to guide the flock think about it for a second if god had given every one of us the same gifts and the same responsibility how would we operate because there would be nobody to give interpretation when the interpretation is lacking there would be no one to to counsel when it is needed there will be no one to prophesy when a prophecy need to be given and expounded on no one to give healing when the healing is needed so all of these different responsibilities are given because god organized it that way because what he called us to be a part of one system a part of his body the body of christ to be co-laborers with him and so he is the head so he is the brains of the operation your brain is the head of the body so all of the the information and the, the instruction are carried out from the brain same way the lord is the one that is leading 
and so don't forget it doesn't matter how things might seem at times never forget that god is in control and everything will be, be and everything will become clear soon enough amen and so each of us are given different gifts and so we are to use those gifts to the best of our ability with the aid of the holy spirit to spread the gospel and to share the love of christ with those around us and so we are not supposed to be using the gifts that he has given unto us for our own selfish gains we must not be trying to work against each other the body calls for unity we must be working together instead of against each other and so when we think about all of these gifts he says that we must what covet good gifts we need to covet good gifts but a lot of times we realize that we seem to be coveting the bad gifts now what are some of the bad gifts you may ask how about backbiting how about lying how about un being unkind to your brothers and sisters or anybody for that matter how about selfishness and pride all of those those fall under the category of bad gifts but it seems that those we are drawn to easily and if we are drawn to those things easily then what do you think is going to become to the body the body is going to become disease weakened but i'm so grateful that we have an antidote for the body and what is the antidote christ himself and so let us seek friends to use the gift that we have been given to glorify god and keep in mind that when one part of the body hurt, the whole body hurt. So if you have a cut on your finger, you feel it in your body. So it doesn't matter where you have the pain, your whole body feel the effect of that pain or that hurt. And it's the same way with the church. And that is why whenever any of us do something wrong, the first comment that is made, them church people there or stuff like those because what it affects everybody so even though it is one somebody that probably do the thing it's not limited to that person because we don't operate individually when it comes on to the work of god and so that is why we need to be careful of how we conduct ourselves and the things that we do so that we don't interfere with the normalcy of the body and how it's supposed to operate when a sister hurt, you should feel the hurt too. When a brother hurt, you should feel the hurt too. So we supposed to be, be in tune with each other so that we can share in the experience of each other. Share in the joy of, of each other. Share in the pain of each other. Share in the struggle with each other. Because we are all in this race together. So friends, as we continue to seek to walk in the path of christ and as we seek to use our gift to glorify him who is god and god alone may we as the reading say covet those things which are good if we are going to covet covet the nice things covet the good things so that it can help to better us and so that we can be closer drawn to god and to each other as friends as friends so may God continue to bless us all. May God continue to keep us as we seek to do the things that are right and as we seek to glorify him in our bodies until he comes again to make everything right in his body. Make everything right again. God bless you and enjoy the rest of the day. Amen.